What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 226 of Room Tour. Back with episode 227 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup, and this episode is going to be the clean and minimal edition. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out, but we'll kick it off now. 227, not 226. First up, we have a name that I'm not going to try to pronounce because I'll butcher it, but this is a glorious looking setup. Obviously super clean and minimal, but I just love the vibes to it. Very natural, wooden desk, plant on the side. This is just super nice. So the monitor of choice here is a solo 27 inch LG. It is their ultra gear panel with a 144 hertz refresh rate. I reviewed this monitor last year, so I'll drop a link down below if you wanna check it out as well. And for the peripherals, he's going with a Ducky Mecha Mini V2 and Logitech G Pro Wireless on a nice sort of like leather Sateki mouse pad. And for audio, you saw them big boys on the desktop. These are the Kef LS 50s. They're huge, they sound amazing, and uh, they're worth it, trust me. It took everything in me not to buy them when I tested them out at Best Buy, but man, they look so nice. And then over on the drawer off to the right side of the desk, we have the Loki Ghost S1 Mark III. Of course, with a nice minimal setup like this, you're gonna expect a small form factor PC. Inside, he has a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU with a knock to a cooler. Got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX Black RAM on the Gigabyte X570i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi motherboard with a PowerColor Redragon Radeon RX 5700 XT GPU. Definitely a nice build and a nice setup. Only thing that glows really is the monitor. No excess RGB, no unnecessary lighting, just the essentials here. Got his peripherals, the monitors, and that's it. Killer job. Next up, we've got soup, not soup, soup. And we've seen this every now and then where instead of just mounting the monitor directly on the wall, maybe they can't because of like, you know, building restrictions or whatever, you have this backboard behind the desk, which is gonna allow you to then mount it there, place it against it, as you can see here, and throw some RGB lighting behind it, add depth and separation. Definitely makes it look pretty cool and stands out. So for here, he's rocking a 32 inch Sony Bravia monitor. Actually just checked, but this actual uh, panel is a TV. Hey, either way, if it gets the job done, you know, it gets the job done. And then for his peripherals, we have the Corsair Gaming K65 Lux RGB keyboard with Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum mouse on an extended mouse pad. Flip the lights on, and then for audio, you could see just chilling there on top of that backboard is the headset, which is his Corsair Void Pro RGB, of course, in white to complement the black and white theme he has going on. And a staple, the nice little succulent pot that adds some green to the setup. And then we have the PC, which is the NZXT H510 case in white. Inside is an Intel i5 9400F CPU with 16 gigs of Team Force Vulcan Z RAM with an MSI GTX 1660 Ti Ventus XS 6G OC GPU. MSI, that name is ridiculous. We got the MSI AB, CD, EF, GH, IJ, 8 gig GPU. So Sue, I'm really digging this setup. He actually said that he built this based off inspiration from this series. He saw the clean and minimal additions, loved it so much that he wanted to build his own setup. And look at that. Here he is on the show in the themed episode. Really good stuff, man. Next up, we've got Sugar Shack with the clean and minimal love shack. Maybe he wants to go by Sugar Shake. I don't know, but I'm gonna dub this Sugar Shack. And while this photo isn't, you know, entirely too appealing, cause it's kind of dark, there's no like desk lamp or anything. Uh, what I do like is the shiplap behind the setup and on this whole wall, whether that's custom or not. It's really nice, like a contemporary type feel to it. And it gives it a pretty unique look. Got ship shap, got shiplap in the sugar lap. <laughs> Wait, shiplap in the sugar shack. There we go. Okay, so mounted on that backboard is his solo monitor, the Acer Predator Z35P. 3440 by 1440p, 120 hertz, great for gaming. And then you can see when the lights are off, I don't know if there's RGB behind the ship lap, 
but it really just, you know, glows through the little gaps and stuff, and it makes the whole wall look really, really cool. You got a nice wooden desktop as well, and you might have added a tad bit too much resin to the finish overall, but either way, it still makes the, the wood look nice and deep and rich. Got the Corsair K63 wireless keyboard with the Corsair Dark Core SE mouse and the SteelSeries Arctis 7 headset. And then over to the wall-mounted PC, which as you've seen in the past, is a very popular case for doing these wall-mounting jobs. It's the Thermaltake Core P3 Tempered Glass Snow Edition inside the Intel i9-9900K CPU with the Corsair H150i Pro RGB AIO with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on the MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard and an EVGA RTX 2080 Ti FTW3 Ultra GPU. So a nice looking setup, you know, everything's in its place and organized. I'm just really digging the vibes from this one with that shiplap wall. Now, next up, we have Thierry XL, and I am loving this one for reasons that will become apparent in about uh, 30 seconds. But first impressions, I mean, you got the plants. You got the nice pegboards, the dark contrast with the walls, wooden desk, and then you realize this is all in a closet. Okay, so he had no use for this closet, and now he turned it into a really nice space for a minimal looking setup. And again, hey, it works for him if there was no other room in the house or he just wanted to have this cool conversion project. It 100% worked out, so it looks really, really nice. And I think it's safe to assume those plants are artificial because, you know, plants don't usually do too well in closets. So checking it out, even in this limited space, he does have two monitors with the vertical one on the right side. His primary is a 25-inch BenQ display with a 24-inch on the right side being that vertical one. Got some themed wallpapers on the monitors as well. And then down for his peripherals, he has a Durgod K320 keyboard with the Anchor Ergonomic Wireless Mouse. Uh, for audio, those speakers, you can kind of see peeking through there by the Ivy. It's the Bose Companion 2, and he also has the Bose Soundlink 2 headphones. And then the only bummer really here is that he's using the pre-built Alienware. And again, it's not really a huge deal, but you would like to see a nice, you know, small form factor custom build. This is the Alienware Aurora R9. And all I know for specs is it has an i7-9700 CPU and an RTX 2060 GPU. This tucked away on the floor underneath the desk to again buy more desk space. But man, you could definitely fit a Ghost S1 or even the Dr. Zaber uh, Century 2.0 PC. Unless you just don't know much about PCs and you're content with, uh, you know, Alienware, then hey, that's fine. Custom build or not doesn't take away from the fact that you have this awesome closet turned into a really nice setup. And again, loving the plants, the pegboard, it all just looks so nice. And then last but not least, we've got Sam Pack with the really just large desk. I'm loving that. It's the Jarvis standing desk, comes in at 72 inches, loving the finish there. And you get some nice natural lighting with the window. Also spot some pegboards, some organization, and you got the massive ultra-wide monitor to complement that really wide desk with the Samsung 49-inch. It's got that on an arm off to the left side and up top for some extra lighting and stuff. Since there is no actual desktop lamp, he has the BenQ light bar. And then getting into some of the peripherals you can see on his desktop are the Kanto YU2 speakers. And then for his main set of peripherals, he has a custom Rama M60A keyboard with the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. Underneath that is the Delta Hub uh, Carpio wrist rest. We showed that off on the channel before. But again, always love seeing a Rama build. Man of culture here. And then we transition over to the PC, which is the NTXT H440 case inside an Intel i9-9900K CPU. Again, the Corsair H150i Pro AIO. 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on the ASUS ROG Strix Z390E motherboard. And then EVGA GTX 1080 Ti, the Super Clock 2 edition. Then while that's the gaming PC, also for productivity, he does have, as you can see here closest to the camera, the MacBook Pro 15 inch from 2019. You know, good for productivity and all that kind of stuff. But altogether, Sam Pack, I'm loving the setup. Got the lenses, the camera, right there, ready. Can always appreciate that. The nice Rama build, wooden desk. You know what's up, Sam. This video is sponsored by hair? No, it's sponsored by the Elgato Ring Light. That makes more sense. With the Elgato Ring Light, you can take your production to the next level, whether YouTube videos, TikToks, live streaming. Give yourself that nice, flattering, even glow without any harsh shadows. The light shines up to 2,500 lumens from 2,900 to 7,000 Kelvin. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. Be the star you were meant to be.
All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 227 of Room Tour Project, the clean and minimal edition. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below for any gear and hardware you saw, plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you want to be possibly considered on a future episode of Room Tour Project, just check the description down below for it all. If you liked this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.